Welcome to DWS Market Update. Americans are often said to communicate more clearly than the multilingual Europeans. In the US, things are clear-cut. The Fed will keep interest rates high until the economy slows down to the point where inflation is defeated. In Europe, no one talks so clearly about the intentional weakening of the economy. There's little central banks can do about the supply side of the economy. But higher interest rates increase the interest expenditures of private households and companies and thus curb demand until supply and demand match again. Are the interest rates hike so far sufficient to achieve this? Let's start with the current affairs of inflation. It is often said that the situation in the US can hardly be compared with that in the euro area. Well, despite all the differences in detail, the developments are very, very similar. As so often is the case, Europe is lagging the US. Both in the US and in Europe, inflation rates are falling fairly quickly. So far, so good. But the concern is that the call rate, which often better predicts the success of monetary policy, remains stubbornly high. In the US, that rate has crossed the 4% mark two years ago. In the euro area, that level was reached only a year ago. In both regions, central banks have raised interest rates massively. But is that enough to curb demand? If we look at the sentiment of companies in the manufacturing sector, there are signs of a significant slowdown. In terms of investment in machinery and equipment, we have hardly seen any weakening yet, so we still need to be a little patient. And what about investments in residential construction? Here we are already seeing a sharp decline in the US, and in the euro area this should also come soon according to construction orders. All in all, central banks should have already reached cruising altitude. The ECB could still take one further step, but then that should be it. Then the central banks can wait in peace to see whether their calculations work out and the weak economy does their job in bringing inflation further down. What does this mean for investors? With such a cautious economic picture, one should not expect any price fireworks. But as always, those who invest for the long term also benefit from price fluctuations. And the last few months have also shown one more thing. Only those who invest in stocks will also benefit from unexpected innovations, such as the recent AI boom. With that, I say goodbye until next time.